most ardently. Please do me the honor of accepting my hand. Sir, I appreciate the struggle you have been through and I'm very sorry to have caused you pain. Believe me, it was unconsciously done. Is this your reply? Yes, sir. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings, which as you've told me, have hindered your regard, will help you in overcoming it. Might I ask why? With so little endeavor towards civility, I am thus repulsed. I might as well inquire why, with so evident a design of insulting me, you choose to tell me that you liked me against your better judgment, that if no. I was uncivil, that was some excuse? Believe me, I didn't mean it that way. But I have other reasons. You know I have. What are those reasons? Do you think that anything might tempt me to accept the man? who has ruined, perhaps forever, the happiness of the most beloved sister. Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy, that you separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the censure of the world for caprice, and my sister to its derision for disappointing hopes and involving them both in misery of the accusest kind? Do not deny it. How could you do it? Because I believed her indifferent to him. Indifferent? I had been watching most carefully and realized that his attachment was far deeper than hers. That's because she's shy. Mr. Bingley, too, is modest, but was persuaded that she did not feel as strongly for him. Because you suggested it. I did it for his own good. My sister barely shows her true feelings to me. I suppose you suspect that his fortune had some bearing on the matter. No, no, I would never do your sister the dishonor, though it was suggested What was? That it was made perfectly clear that an advantageous... Did my marriage... sister give that impression? No, though I have to admit, there is the matter of... Our defense. want of connection? Mr. Bingley didn't vex himself about that? No, it's more than that. How, sir? It pains me to say this, but... It was due to the lack of propriety shown by your own mother, your three younger sisters, and even on occasion, your own father. Forgive me. You and your sister, however, I must exclude from this. And what about Mr. Wickham? Mr. Wickham? What excuse can you give for your behavior to him? You give an eager interest in that gentleman's concerns. He told me about his misfortunes. Oh, yes. His misfortunes have been very great indeed. You ruined his chances and yet treat him with a sarcasm. So this is your opinion of me. Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you. Just thank you so much for admitting what you truly think of me. Perhaps these offenses might have been overlooked, if not your pride. My pride? By my honesty in admitting the scruples in our relationship. Did you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? And those are the words of a gentleman? From the first time I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain of the feelings of others made me realize that you were the last man in the world that I could ever be prevailed upon to marry.
for taking up so much of your time. 